Welcome to my first video actually in my greenhouse. It has something to do with growing something green. I'm very, very excited. We are one week away from the last frost date in zone 7A. The last frost date is April 4th. That's also Easter. I have slacked so much. I did start some seeds and they were like my radishes and my lettuces, kale, Swiss chards, that kind of thing. And they're coming up great. Except the peppers. I know peppers need to be very, very warm. They should probably be on a seed heat mat. I did bring these out two days ago, so they have actually been in the greenhouse and I don't have to worry about it. The grow light, because I've got So some. over here is some fairy more seeds, vegetable and flower, and then some labels. They sent these to us to try out. And today I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna plant all of these seeds in my new Burby super seed tray. Let's get started and I will go through all these seeds one by one with you and let you know their germination, planting depth, their days to harvest, and their spacing. So I just got some of my Happy Frog. This has mycorrhizal fungi in it and it is a great seed starting mix. It does need to be watered down. It's actually perfect. First of all, I want to say thank you so much to Fairy Morse for sending these beautiful seeds over for us to try. We are not affiliated nor are we sponsored by them, but they're just so sweet and kind to send me some seeds. So let's plant them. I'm going to open these tea labels. They are so cute. They're plastic tea labels and they leave a little space at the top for you to take your seed packet. Place it in there and put it in your soap pack. And since we're in the greenhouse and they can't get wet, this is gonna work so perfect. So let's start with garden beans. These are Blue Lake 274 bush beans. And let me tell you what they like. They are vigorous, many branch bush plants produced heavy yields of pods similar to the appearance of pole blue lake. Flavors of these six and a half inch round pods is excellent. Disease resistant, high in vitamin A, B, and C. So these take six to eight days to germinate. We're gonna plant them one to one and a half inches deep. They take 55 days to harvest, and you space your rows 20 inches and seeds every four inches. Fairy Morse Pea Little Marble. It says, one of the most popular peas for home gardens, vines 18 inches long, produces a profusion of pods about three inches long. The medium small wrinkled peas are tender and sweet Excellent for a quick freezing. So these peas are eight to 12 days to germinate. Planting depth is one and a half inches. They take 65 days to harvest and the row should be two and a half foot and the plants could be every two inches. Next is mammoth basil. It says the extra large leaves will provide a great basil flavor for all of your pesto sauces or salad. This is five to 10 days to germinate. The plants will get 10 to 15 inches high. You're gonna plant them about a quarter of an inch and you're gonna space them out every 10 inches. Bell Color Mixed Peppers. A high yield pepper that produces plenty of peppers for turning your salads and vegetable dishes into colorful statements. Offers a crisp and sweet rainbow of color. Freezes well too. I love colorful peppers. So these peppers are 10 to 12 days to germinate. Remember, pepper seeds like to be warm. So if it's cold, they won't germinate. You're gonna plant them a quarter of an inch deep. Now these take 65 to 85 days to harvest. You're going to space them out by two foot rows and then one plant every 18 inches. The last vegetable from Fairy Morris is A. Blinken tomatoes. A. Blinken produces brilliant red, round, medium-sized tomatoes that grow in clusters up to nine. This rich, slightly acidic fruit has a delicious flavor enjoyed since 1923. They become 12 ounce tomatoes. So these take seven to 10 days to germinate. You plant them at a depth of a quarter of an inch. Days to harvest is 70 to 77 days. And you're gonna space them out by two and a half foot per row. And you're gonna space out the plant every two foot. Fairy Morse also sent us some flowers. They sent us sunflowers, snapdragons, and zinnia. I'm gonna save this for when I start my flowers. So I'm just gonna put these aside for right now. 
So there you have it. I've got five rows of six each, and I have the tea label showing us what each row is. Our garden beans, our peas, our basil, our peppers, and our tomatoes. That is perfect for any meal. These three right here can be done in any kind of Italian sausage or any kind of Italian meal. And then peas or beans on the side, mmm, so yummy. Aren't these tea labels pretty cool? I'm really enjoying them. We are gonna water these from the bottom. This Burpee Super Seed is amazing. So you could just see how that's silicone. So I could just pick this up, water from the bottom. think about my first video in my greenhouse not too exciting but for me and my heart I'm so pumped I'm gonna check back on these very more seeds in a couple days I'll include them in all our update videos we need to plant all our tomato varieties next and that's gonna be done in bigger seed starter trays and I will show you that next time I hope you enjoyed today's video I hope you've already hit the subscribe button and the little dingle bell if you haven't, it's so helpful. Go ahead and hit it. You will be alerted every single time we upload a new video. And I really appreciate you watching today. Hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.